Hi guys, my name's Georgia and I'm going to do what everyone else is doing and jump on this incredible bandwagon that is the walkaway campaign. Even though I'm not American and I'm not technically walking away from Democrats per se, I still think that everyone has a story about how they became disaffected with the left and so I thought I'd share mine from Down Under. So for me, my journey started about five years ago and I remember the feeling that I had at the time. It was my first day of my fourth year at university and I felt so dirty as I walked up to the Conservatives party stall on campus and signed my name down. My gosh, I felt like I'd signed up with the enemy, like I'd done a deal with the devil himself and it just was so foreign and new at the time and I was so unsure but I'm so glad that I had the resolve to do that because my life has changed so much because of that. Um, I don't think that there's any single event that has liberated me more as a person than my choice back then to mix with a new set of ideas and a new bunch of people who think differently. And I'm so happy that I did because it's been such an incredible five years since then. So I'd say my journey starts like a lot of other people's where you know you're in your early youth you're at university and you're like the default position is to be left-wing unless you actively decide to evolve and grow and learn nothing changes um, I think that my journey could pretty much be summed up in that quote if you're not a liberal at 20 you have no heart and if you're not a conservative at 40 you have no brain certainly for me it wasn't like one single event that made me change my mind like suddenly. It was definitely a series of events. I started to see how a lot of the arguments and motivations behind the left were based on emotions and sympathy and pity and their idea that the enemy is the rich white male upper class. Basically no one is allowed to get ahead or succeed unless they are satisfactorily disadvantaged in some way and deemed worthy of pity, um, be it um, black, gay, trans, female. And if you don't fit into any of those categories, then you're written off and anything you say or do is just without merit in their eyes. And as someone who has a primarily maths slash science brain, I really struggled to see the logic in this. I want to make sure that what I'm actually doing to help people that I want to help is based on evidence rather than just being based on, you know, patting them on the back. Because all that d does is make you feel noble and superior and good. But it's not necessarily the most effective way to help them. So I wanted to make sure that I was doing the thing that is actually going to make a difference. I gradually began to step out of my narrow vision, which at the time was, you know, a young female oppressed by the patriarchy. And I, I stepped into a more position of neutrality and viewed the world from a more of a non-biased third person point of view. And that was really good because it allowed me to sort of view all of the problems in front of me with more logic and non-biased reasoning rather than how I previously viewed them which was full of emotion and feelings of self-righteousness. The hardest part was to stop conflating how much a person showed they cared externally with how much of a good person they actually were and how, how good their idea was. And I was very tentative about where this was leading me um, but I, I really couldn't help but see that real good is often more subtle than that and it's sort of under the surface and and buried under a pile of careful thought and reason and I mean gradually the fog lifted it's like I was seeing the world through a different light and I mean I still have my sympathies but they just don't they don't rule me and they don't dictate what I do and naturally over a few months I, I took a very sharp veer to the right side of politics and yeah, it was scary. <laughs> One thing I will say about this whole process is that I never felt more alone going through this than I, than I had with anything else. I felt so alone. In my head, I was the only one who was going through this at the time. Like, 
I didn't really have any friends who were half interested in these sort of things and I didn't want to talk to my family because I was scared of how they would perceive me. Like I didn't want to appear like the enemy because at the time the ideas that I was starting to think about seemed like they were in the minority and seemed like they were unpopular. So I just kept everything in. There was no helpful walk away campaign going on for me back then. And that's why I think that this campaign is so fantastic and important and why I wanted to post my journey. Because I think that every day there are thousands of people who are stopping and thinking and really thinking about where they stand with their position and views on life. And I want everyone to know that you're not alone. And don't ever stop trying to figure out what is most important and the best way to do things. Um, I remember at the time, at the time what got me through was probably the internet. I remember Googling what is a libertarian? Who was Adam Smith? Um, and doing those online political compass quizzes, you know, the ones, and trying to figure out where I fell on the political compass. And, you know, I even tried to sort of go back to the left. I joined Amnesty International because at the time they were doing a campaign about um, the rights of uh, rural women in Afghanistan that I felt really strongly about. But mixing with the people there, I, I felt like I couldn't talk to them in a way that I wanted to using, you know, just logic and practical ideas because I just felt like I was going to offend someone and I had to emote correctly as prescribed or leave. And so I, I left. <laughs> Here I am, five years later, absolutely loving life. Always trying to figure out how to be a better person, but far from the authoritarian, victim-loving, freedom-hating left that I was once a part of. And the only thing that I know for sure is that we have a limited time on this planet to show our love and to make this world better than what we started with. And I think I'm closer to doing that than I was five years ago. So that's my walkaway story and I think that we all have a role to play by sharing our journeys with others because generally the reasons speak for themselves and I certainly want to spread the message as far as and as wide as possible with my videos and if you're interested in helping me I would really appreciate it if you could start by hitting the subscribe button down below and giving this video a like. Feel free to share it and I will see you in the next video.